Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our fourth lesson on a given form 2 mathematics topic called linear motion. So we are looking at a question worth 10 marks which reads that uh, two friends, Mwangi and Kaveta, live 40 kilometers apart. So we are going to draw a sketch for the given information. So I'm going to have uh, this rough sketch here uh, for the two homes of the two friends. So one is called uh, Mwangi, so I'm going to assume that Mwangi lives at this point, then the other one is uh, Kaveta. So I'm told that two friends, Mwangi and Kaveta, they live 40 kilometers apart, so the distance between them is uh, 40 kilometers. One morning, Mwangi left his house at 9 a.m. and cycled towards Kaveta's house. So we have uh, Mwangi, uh, which is, um, who is uh, uh, living 40 kilometers uh, from Kaveta. Then one morning, Mwangi left his house at 9.00 a.m. So starting time was uh, 9.00 uh, a.m. And cycled towards Kaveta's house at an average speed of 20 kilometers per hour. So his speed was 20 uh, kilometers per hour. And then Kaveta left his house at 10.30 a.m. on the same day and cycled towards Mwangi's house. So we have Kaveta who is moving in the opposite uh, direction. So Kaveta is leaving his house at um, 10.30, so this is 10.30 uh, a.m. Uh, on the same day and cycle towards Mwangi's house at an average speed of 30 kilometers per hour. So his speed is uh, 30 uh, kilometers per hour. So determine part A of the question, uh, the distance from Mwangi's house uh, where the two uh, friends met. So because we don't know this distance, I'm going to give it a letter. So I will start by saying let the distance let the distance we let the distance from uh, let the distance from Mwangi's house uh, the distance from Mwangi's house to the meeting point uh, to the meeting point a uh, meeting point be x so I'll let that distance uh, to be x uh, kilometers so assuming that uh, these two friends are uh, met somewhere here so this is the distance uh, that we are calling x the distance from Wangi's house to the meeting point so if the distance from Wangi's house to Kaveta's house is 40 kilometers per hour and the distance from Wangi's house to the meeting point is x it means the remaining distance here will be uh, 40 minus x kilometers that is the distance from Kaveta's house to the meeting point then, if we want to find the value of x, I'm going to form two equations for uh, Mwangi. Uh, when Mwangi arrived at the meeting point, we also form an equation for Kaveta when he arrived at the meeting point. So we form an equation for the time, the time uh, when, the time when uh, we can start with Mwangi, the time when Mwangi uh, arrived, arrived when Mwangi arrived at the meeting point, uh, meeting point will be given by so remember arrival time is given by uh, departure time plus time taken on the road so departure time for Mwangi was uh, 900 a.m. in 24 o'clock system this will just be nine hours uh, then we add the time taken on the road from uh, Mwangi's house to the meeting point remember time is given by a uh, distance over speed therefore we are going to take the distance from Mwangi's house to the meeting point which is actually uh, x kilometers so this will be x divided by the speed for Mwangi was 20 kilometers per hour. So this is the time when Mwangi arrived at the meeting point. We also find an equation for the time. Uh, the time when uh, Kaveta, the time when Kaveta arrived at the meeting point. Kaveta arrived at the meeting point uh, will be given by meeting point. So this will be given by uh, Kaveta started his journey at 10.30 a.m. So departure time is 10.30. So this is uh, uh, 10.30 is the same as saying 10 and a half. That is in 24 o'clock system. So this will be 10 and a half hours. Then a uh, half hours. Then I'm going to add the time taken by Kaveta from his house to the meeting point. Time is distance over speed. The distance from Kaveta's house to the meeting point was 40 minus x. So this is uh, 40 minus x then divided by our uh, time is distance over speed the speed for Kaveta was 30 uh, kilometers per hour then there is one fact that we need to note that at the meeting point 
the clocks of these two uh, friends should be reading equal time so uh, let me create some working space here so there is one fact that we know at the meeting point uh, at the meeting point at the meeting point the clock for Kaveta and that of Mwangi should be reading equal time therefore uh, at the meeting point uh, this equation must be equal to this other equation because remember um, at this particular meeting point uh, they are supposed to meet at the same time that is when they meet their clock should be reading equal time so at the meeting point the equation for um, that is uh, Mwangi which is actually 9 then plus uh, x over 20 should be equal to the time when uh, Kaveta arrived at the meeting point which is 10 and a half hours which will give us into improper fraction uh, this will be 2 times 10 which is 20 plus 121 so this will be uh, 21 over 2 then we are going to add uh, 40 minus x then divided by 30 then of course the easiest way of dealing th with this is multiplying with the LCM so the LCM of uh, 22 and 30 will actually be uh, 60 so I'm going to multiply through by the LCM which is 60 so this one I multiply by 60 uh, this one by 60 this one by 60 this one I also multiply with uh, 60 so if you take 9 uh, multiplied by 60 you are going to get 540 so this will give me uh, 540 so this will give me 540 uh, then plus of course 20 into 60 that is 3 times so this will be 3x which should be equal to if you take 21 uh, out of so if I take 21 uh, divided by 2 then I multiply with uh, 60 I'm going to get uh, 630 so 21 over 2 by 60 you'll get 630 so this will be uh, 630 then plus of course 30 here 1 30 into 60 uh, that is uh, 2 times so this will be 2 uh, into 40 minus x so this will be uh, 540 540 then plus uh, 3x is equals to uh, 630 then plus 2 by 40 I'll get 80 then minus 2 times x I'll get uh, 2x then on collecting like terms I'll take um, uh, that is negative 2x to the uh, left hand side so that it becomes a positive then I'm going to take 540 to the other side so I'm going to have uh, I'm going to have a uh, 3x of course when 2x moves to this side it will be positive a uh, 2x is equals to a uh, 630 then plus 80 then minus 540 so this will give me a uh, 5x being equal to if you take 630 uh, then uh, 630 plus uh, 80 uh, this was 80 uh, 630 plus 80 then minus 540 you're going to get 170 so this is 170 uh, divide through by 5 divide through by 5 we'll get the value of x being equal to 170 divided by 5 you're going to get 34 so this is 34 but what was x representing x was uh, representing the distance from Wangi's house to the meeting point therefore the answer will be 34 kilometers so that is the answer for our part a so we are asked to find the distance from Monkey's house to where the two friends met. So they met at 34 kilometers from Monkey's house. Then we move to part B of the question. Uh, so part B of the question, they want us to find the time of the day that the two friends met. So if you want to find the time of the day, you can either use the equation for Mwangi or you can as well use the equation for Kaveta. So the time, the meeting time, uh, if I use the equation for uh, Mwangi, uh, the meeting time, uh, meeting time will be given by, meeting time will be given by, for Mwangi, the starting time was 9 a.m., then you are going to add, the time that Mwangi took on the road is x over uh, 20, but you already have the value of x, huh? so this will simply uh, be equal to 9, then plus, the value of x is 34, then divided by 20. So you compute this on your calculator, 9 plus uh, 34, then over 
9 plus 34, uh, 34 over 20, you are going to get 10.7, uh, of which if you convert uh, 0 0.7 into hours, uh, you are going to get uh, 42 minutes. Huh? So this is going to give us a uh, 10.42. So the meeting time is actually a uh, 10.42. So this is a uh, 10, 10, 42, 10 a.m. So that is the time that these two friends met. Remember, you can as well use the equation for a uh, caveta. I expect the answers to be the same. So if you take 10 30, let's try. Let's try and see whether we are going to get uh, the same answer. So suppose I was using the equation for caveta. It means the meeting time, uh, meeting time uh, will be given by I'll take 10 and a half hours. So 10 and a half, this was giving us uh, into a proper fraction. It was 21 uh, divided by 2. So this is 21 over 2. Then you are going to add uh, 40 minus x. But our value of x, we got it as 34. Uh, then divided by 30. So this will be 21 divided by 2. Then you are going to add uh, 40 minus uh, 34. You are going to get 6. So 6 divided by uh, 30 so if you compute uh, if you compute 21 divided by 2 then you add uh, you add 6 divided by 30 you are going as well to get 10.7 so 10.7 uh, remember those are hours so if you convert 0 0.7 uh, hours into minutes uh, you are going to have 0 0.7 uh, multiplied by 60 which is going to give you a 10.42 a.m. So this one is also going to give you 10.42 a.m. 10.42 uh, a.m. So this will be 10.42 uh, a.m. Let me rewrite it here well. So this will give us 10.42 a.m. So it doesn't matter whether you use the equation for uh, Mwangi or Kaveta. We expect the answers to be the same. So thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get notified. So in our next class, we will be looking at our example 5. Until